Hello guys, in this video we will tell you how to fix the calculator app is not working in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit our problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we will make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Restart your computer. For this, save your any ongoing work. After that, click on the start button and select the power icon and just simply choose the restart option. Number 2. Re-register all Microsoft apps. For this, search for PowerShell in the start menu, right click on it and select the run as administrator option. After that, in the PowerShell window, enter the following command and press enter. After that, wait for the process to complete then close the PowerShell. Note, after reinstalling the calculator app, try launching it again to see if the issue is resolved or not. Number 3. Run Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter For this, open setting by pressing the Windows plus I key. After that, go to System and click on Troubleshoot from the left hand side menu. Then, scroll down and select Windows Store Apps and click Run the Troubleshoot on the right hand side. Number 4. Run SFC and DISM Scan for this, search for command prompt, right click on it and select the run as administrator option. After that, type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. The command is sfc slash scan now. And after that, be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. After that, open start and again open the command prompt in the administrator option. After that, type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. Note, the DISM commands are used for scanning your PC and will automatically installing broken or missing window files on your PC. Number 5. Create a new user account. For this, press Windows plus I key to open the settings app and after that go to account and select family and other users. Then under other users, click add someone else to this PC option. Number 6. Chat for malware or viruses. For this, type into security in the window search bar. After that, in the window security window, click on virus and set protection. Then, under current threats option, click on quick scan to perform basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose full scan. Number 7. Update your calculator app. For this, select Windows and input Microsoft Store. Then, click the library icon located on the bottom left of the Microsoft Store after opening it. Then, by selecting the Get Updates button, you may update all of your Microsoft applications. And after that, check to see if your calculator is operational after the upgrade is complete. Number 8. Reset the calculator. For this, press Window plus I key to open the Settings app. After that, go to Apps and click on Feature as App. Then, locate and choose the calculator from the list of installed apps. Then, in the expanded tray, select Advanced Settings by clicking it. Then, to reset the calculator, scroll down to bottom and press the reset button. After that, just simply see if the calculator is working correctly or not. Number 9. Perform a system restore. For this, type create a restore point in the window search bar. After that, click on system restore under the system protection tab. Then, it will automatically prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Note, if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will automatically display recommended date for restoration. Then just simply click finish to complete the process. Note, the finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 10. Update your windows. For this, again press window plus I key to open the windows settings apps. After that, from there, click on update and security. Then in the update and security window, click on window update in the left hand side menu. After that, just simply click on check for updates and let Windows search for any available updates and it will automatically install them. After the updates are installed, just simply restart the computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.